Hello and welcome back to Log Cabin Gaming. We've got Ross with us today. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. And we have got a bit of a clash of gods today. Well, technically. Ish. Technically, yeah, we've got Ossiarch Bone Reapers led by Nagash, who yeah. is a god. And then I've got Korn, who I decided to bring Archaeon, my Archaeon list. Um, even, yeah, yeah. I don't think uh, Archaeon's technically not a god. I don't think. It's battling for a lot of sides. Isn't mm, it? Yeah, cue the, uh, cue the clip from Ghostbusters. Are you a god? <laughs> <laughs> Are you a god? But yeah, because we've got those two, it's probably going to be quite a quick game tonight because they're, uh, they're half our points lists. It will either, either be insta jib. Yeah. It's just 50 50. I yeah. think. Who catches who yeah. behind the bike sheds? <laughs> or yeah. um, everything's going to go. It's just going to be those two not dying yeah. by the end of turn mm. five. So who knows? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it will be quite an interesting game. Um, I was just saying to Ross, I've gone and there's going to be a lot of angry comments i think because of what i've done to my bloodthirster which you'll see when we get to the lists but um in order to try and deny more magic i've made him a wizard <laughs> by giving him the um the universal artifact uh was it tome amulet arcane tome? tome arcane tome so it makes him a wizard because he naturally has a plus two to unbind so that will give him, an, so he's got two unbinds and then he's going to be the general, so he's going to get a third unbind yeah. as well. So he's got three unbinds at uh, plus two, which is, I think is quite strong. Hopefully Korn forgive, can forgive that uh, little indiscretion. He's got flaming weapons. And we gave him flaming weapons yeah, weapon as well. basically the thing from Lord of the Rings anyway. Yeah, so yeah, the Balrog. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you can do it, do yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, he is an attacking unit, so why not buff himself up? We just won't yeah. tell Corn, And we won't tell Barry the Blood Secretor either. We'll keep them on opposite. Because <laughs> I think he affects my... Uh, he'll affect my uh, Bloodthirster. Because it affects right. all wizards all, or, um, to make him re-roll and stuff. So, yeah. Well, internal scores. Yeah, <laughs> we'll have to like split. We'll have to split the kids up, put them on opposite sides. But I think it'll be quite an interesting game. You've got a lot of magic in the gash. I've seen you yep. use him once. Yeah. 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 And apologies, I bought some unpainted models. Cracking up the Ooh. table. I do yeah. apologise. But um, at least it's new. They're new models, so we're getting to see new yeah. stuff. So. Yeah. I said to Ali, I painted up 90 more tech and then my two crawlers and thought, right, fine, that's baseline. Most of everything <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll ever bring. And then they change stuff around where crawlers are out of favour and can't <laughs> super stuff out the line. So I'll get there. Yeah, so yeah, that's it. But we're practically there. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, no, it should be a good game. Should be a good game. Uh, we're going to be playing on the bar top again, which we enjoyed last time. So we're going to do that again. Um, I think that's it. Before we go to the lists, uh, we're going to have a word from our sponsors. Quick joke, we don't have any sponsors. <laughs> it's us and you, basically. So uh, thanks for everyone who kind of watches and comments and subscribes. And we at have actually got a new Patreon this week, came through the other day. So a big shout out to Doyle Only, who is our latest Patreon. So thank you very much for uh, sponsoring us, Doyle, and all the rest, uh, the rest of you guys. Yeah, we're going to put you guys on a, on a list. But yeah, other than that, twice. and check it to us. <laughs> <laughs> right, shall we head to the list? Yep, go for it. All right, let's go to the list. We we'll see you guys in a bit. Catch you later. I've got 1,995 points of Petrifex Elites. I've got Nagash in the middle. That's most of them. <laughs> um, yeah, at the front, I've got a liege Cavalos represented by the Xantos figure. He's my general. Uh, he's got the um, mighty Archeosian and Godbone armor traits of Petrifex, meaning he's got an extra two wounds and he can ignore the first wounds done in each phase. Uh, I've then got 20 Mortec Guards, another 20 Mortec Guard, and five Cavalos Death Riders as my battle line. They are in the Hunters of the Heartlands Battalion, so they can't get roared at because that really hurts. Uh, OBR. And then I've got an Umbral Spell Portal, or two, and the Burning Head as my spells. Today I am playing Corn as the Reapers of Vengeance, and my general is this Wrath of Corn Bloodthirster. He has got the command trait Mage Eater, which lets him unbind an extra spell, and if it gets unbound on an eight, 
they take d6 mortal wounds. We've also got the artifact Arcane Tome, which turns him into a wizard and gives him another unbind. So he has got a total of three unbinds, all at plus two now. And because he becomes a wizard, his universal spell law is going to be flaming weapon to try and reap more skulls. We've also got Archeon the Everchosen, who acts as a pseudo general because he's got the warlord um, uh, keyword now. Then the rest of the heroes, we have the Blood Secretor, the Blood Stoker, and two Slaughter Priests. Mikey being given the Blood Sacrifice Prayer, and Leo has got the Universal Prayer Heal. Unit-wise, we've got three units of ten Blood Reavers and Magor's Fiends, which includes Ribtooth, and we've also got the uh, Invocation slash Judgment as the Hex Gorgeous Skulls. We've got two battalions, the Warlord Battalion and the Battle Regiment Battalion. Um, the Blood Secretor has got the Skull Shard Mantle Artifact, the compulsory one for Reapers of Vengeance, meaning he can attempt to shrug off any effects of spells. And that is 1,995 points of corn. Just before we get into the game, I really would like to give a massive thanks to all of our patrons who continue to support and sponsor us. Every little helps and the moral boost from knowing that you guys enjoy and appreciate what we are creating really drives us to make more content. Each bat rep takes around 15 hours to film, edit and produce and we'd love to produce more bat reps each month. Becoming a patron costs about the same as a pint of beer, so why not check it out? Many thanks and back to the game. Today's battle plan is Power Struggle from the General's Handbook 2021. Two stubborn warlords have created a stalemate at the borders of Thondia, both refusing to fall back to resupply. Now they must commit everything they have to secure new ground. Each player scores victory points at the end of each of their turns as follows. Score one victory point if you have controlled at least one objective for two of your turns consecutively. Score one victory point if you've controlled two or more objectives for two of your turns consecutively. Score one victory point if you control more objectives than your opponent. And score two victory points if you completed the battle tactic you picked that turn. Each player scores three victory points at the end of the battle if they completed their grand strategy. The battle lasts for five rounds. Right, hero phase done. So, uh, heroic actions. Um, this bloodthirster got an extra command point. And because Archeon's on the battlefield, he got another uh, command point. So, we're up to four. Ross got three. Ar yeah, dis discipline points. That's right. And then he got an extra two after the new FAQ. So, he's up to five. The battle tactic I picked was Ferocious Advance. Uh, so, we're going to pick these three units to run um, and at the beginning of the running phase which we'll do next uh, the blood stoker is going to whip Archeon to fury because he's mortal so that's going to give him an extra three inches to his run and charge but more importantly let him re-roll all of his wound rolls till the next turn Leo failed to do uh, he failed to get the hex gorgeous skulls out which was annoying he rolled two twos um, but we did get a Blood Tithe point, but we did lose one of Magor's Fiends. Um, so, unfortunately, yeah, uh, we have got a Blood Tithe, but we had our first casualty. Wrath of Corn Bloodthirst, I tried to cast uh, Metamorphosis to turn one of my heroes into a monster, but unsurprisingly, Nagash bound it with ease, unbound it with ease, and I think that's it, isn't it, Ross? That's the end of the hero phase. Okay, okay. Yeah, so it's we. The phase. It's the running phase now. Everything's going to run. Five rand. Right, so we are going to go into the movement phase now. Right, so that's movement done. <laughs> Everything ran except Archeon. Uh, I don't know why. I don't know why we're feeling brave, but. Um, Everything's run as a shield, but my biggest concern actually is Nagash's Hand of Dust, and technically he's still out of 21 inch range, which uh, is the nasty cheaty thing with the um, Umbral Spell Portal, but 
Nagash can actually cause himself mortal wounds and teleports anyway, so... Yeah, protection of Nagash is mm. active. Basically, I think I have to go for it as if he might end up dying on turn one. So we are going to try um, and use him rather than hold back for a couple of turns and see what happens. Right, so we may as well go shoot. I don't think we've got any shooting. We've only got 12 inch range on him, which is just out. So we are going to go for charges. Nagash is going to charge and he does have a plus three because Nagash. of whip. Sorry. Oh, it's yeah, Archeon is going to charge. He did move uh, 14 actually, and now he's got eight, so he's got another 11. He's got an 11 inch charge. Which is, yeah, it gets you to your leader, is that right? Oh, sorry. Yep, two and a half an inch. Kill. Cool. Right, so we are going to go here. I don't think Archeon does crash damage. It's a whole lot of close, a whole lot of early on. It is, yeah. So if he's out of three. Yeah, side, yeah. Yep, and we are going to try and do our monster table, our monstrous rampage on your scenery before I forget. No, I love it. Yeah. It took seven to pay. I know, <laughs> but it is on a three, and I do naturally fail these ones. So two, I do fail it. Damn it. Okay. So, should we go into combat? I don't want to. I don't want to. Yeah, go for it. All right. He does get to re-roll all of his wounds. The Reapers of Vengeance, he gets to do his double attack. Okay. Yeah, so we spend a command point. That was the whole point of going here. Fine. So, all right, here we go. Slayer of Kings, four attacks. All right, okay. Four, four attacks hitting on, t hitting on twos. Is that three attacks there? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we did, did get a one, right. Now, wounding on threes, this is where if you get two sixes, um, was that a four? Two fours and a two. Right, I'm going to re-roll the two because we can because of Whip to Fury. Yeah. It's a six. So that is minus two ren, three damage a piece. Okay, so I ignore one ren because I'm Petrifex Elite. So yeah. three up save goes to a four up save. Yep. Make, okay, nice. So you take three damage. Okay. Um, I can ignore the first wounds that I receive each turn, though, so I only take two damage. Ah. Um, oh, hang on. being a Petrifex Elite General, in case you think I'm... Oh, sorry, I completely forgot. We are... I just need to double-check. Holy within the Blood Secretor. This is... I haven't played Corn for so long. So it's two wounds applied. No, so it's 16 inches. I completely... Yeah, so he's just out of range, annoyingly. So you've done two, so two, two wounds. Yeah, that's is that three, that three turned into a two because he can ignore the first wound taken each phase. Okay. He doesn't make him any tougher, but he's yeah. uh, also, sorry, stronger. He's super tough. Two attacks now. Of course, there's a one. Wounding on three, a which one. I can re-roll. It's a six minus two rend. <clears throat> D6 okay. damage. So minus one rends. Yeah. Four plus save. Oh, sorry. See that one again? It went flat. It's a one. All right, D6 damage. <coughs> Excuse me. That's a one. Okay, so he takes another one. I've just re remembered that I can do death for saves, though. Yeah. What a champ. Sorry. So I'm trying to be a good cameraman. Yeah, so you've got in. three deathless saves three to make. Three deathless saves at a six. Okay, so, one. so yeah. he's on two wounds and great for that. Right, so now we've got Lashing Tails. Yeah. Friendly competitor. You fun. are. What's the deep? You'll find out. You'll find out. 2d6. Oh, 11 attacks. Oh. 6, 7. I've got a death list. 8, 9, 10, 11. How many wounds does he have? Uh, so he has seven plus two because the Petrifex general says so right. nine. Right, so we've got fours to hit. Then threes to wound, re rolling. So I need to re roll Couple two ones. of those. Yeah. No. Oh, still. Two, four, six. Uh, no rend. Joke's on you. Okay, so Ignore first rend. Three up. <laughs> yeah. Three up saves. Oh, my goodness! Yep. 
And then we got six attacks. Threes and threes. And then we're done. So one. That's my roll. <laughs> yeah. It's not fun from the other side. Rerolling. No, nope. so four minus one, so it doesn't count. So, yeah. so three up. Three up. Space Marine saves. Oh, so that's two damage apiece. So that's four damage. Okay, so I get four death lists. Yeah. So if I roll sixes, they go on. Two sixes. Two sixes. So six, another two. So he has suffered four wounds out of his nine. I think that's pretty awesome, actually. Pretty hardy. Yeah, but now we're going to do leave none alive. Oh, come on. Yeah, so he's, <laughs> we're going to do all that again. It's not as a... Uh, Dirty as Scarbrand's one on Andy, if you ever saw that one. No. 32 mortal wounds. Yeah. Right, here we go. Four attacks. Is this for Slayer of Kings? Yep. Oh, but two double one. Oh, no, he can re-roll ones because he's a demon hero. Ooh, I forgot about that. Locus of Fury. Right, so they all hit. All right, here we go. Double six. Two sixes, he's out of there. <gasps> one six, I can re-roll all wounds. Mm -hmm. There's a double six. Okay. That's it. Sorry, mate. But you needed millions of tries. To do I did so millions of tries, yeah, and I think he's. Uh, that's it. Cool. Okay. Tied up your points. So, we automatically scored these, but we don't score them. So I actually have got three objectives. Yeah. So only score one because I've got more than you. And then we got the battle tactic of ferocious advance. Yeah, which is two. In two, this yeah, scenario, isn't yeah. It? So it's three. Three. There we go. Okay. And that is the end of the turn. And I've got used one command point. Then that's it. Then it's your turn. Let's see what happens. Yeah, let's get hand of dusted. <laughs> Right, Ross's hero phase. Do you want to yep. talk us through what happened? Yeah, it wasn't a good one. Um, <laughs> so I cast Supreme Lord of the Undead with Nagash for yep. one Relentless Discipline point. Yeah. Um, I cast Mystic Shield on himself. Yeah, so just um, for everyone at home who's not familiar with Ossiarch, what was um, the command ability you did? Uh, I can reroll, if you're asking me now, yeah. I can reroll hits and saves of one. And that's army that's army-wide, army so that's wide. very strong. Yeah, yeah, so that's what I'll be doing like first yeah. time every time. Um, I successfully cast Drain Vitality on yeah. Arkel, meaning you have to re-roll um, hit rolls of six and also save rolls of six. Mm. And then the Nexus cast Punishment of Lethargy, <laughs> yeah. which halves your movement, and also you can only make D6 rolls to charge. Yep. But... I didn't get protection in the gash. No, I think I didn't I, I, get spell portal. I think I unbound it, didn't I? And then I misfired. Yeah. So he took one wound. Oh, sorry, he took two, no three, but then I bounced two off from his armor. Yeah. So he's lost a wound. Hero phase is over. <laughs> time. So that's everything I think that can have gone wrong. I'm really used to him teleporting around, and also yeah. the spell portal chance with hand of dust is obviously like super. Yeah. Oh, one thing we useful. haven't done. We haven't done our heroic actions. Mine was monstrous takeover. No, that's um, battle tactic. Oh, I see. Um, I can't. I can't do anything. I'm, I'm OBR. I'm not. I'm not part of uh, this. No, you're a hero. Um, Heroic. He uh, so you can heal. Well, you've done at the I beginning. Couldn't, I couldn't have healed. So you could probably yeah. just do take a command. Oh no, you can't even take a command point. All right, well. Oh uh, yeah, I uh, I will try. Nice. Yeah, I will try and do that <laughs> on a four up. Cool. All right, so we've given it to Archeon. So Archeon's got an extra command point, and so is this guy from uh -huh. last turn. We go up to three, and you... Yeah, no, that's why I forgot it. So, yeah, and you um, picked Monstrous Takeover as your battle yeah, tactic. Yeah, which is really annoying, because I'm used to him teleporting around, so I'm going to see what I can do now. Um, when I started to do Spell Portal mm. with Hand of Dust, I was going to stack up with a few bolts and see what I could do to make the yeah. best of it, yeah. but that's going to have to change now, and I'm going to mm. have to work it out. I might just miss the battle tactic, but in MS3, that could be everything. Mm. So, yeah. All right, movement. Stay tuned for me to do something clever, if, <laughs> if I can, if there is something clever to do. Hooray. Cool. Right, so that's movement over, much to a forlorn Ross, but explain what's happened. 
Uh, not too much. I move these guys an extra three away from RK on so they can't Cheeky pile in. pile in. These guys have moved around to speed bump. Yeah. Uh, I've yet to use them nicely and properly, but I get some unpainted models off the table. <laughs> yeah. I haven't really like, had them like lead the charge and mm. win a game yet. Um, Nagash uh, did unstoppable advance and ran. I was really toying with him getting close to these guys, loosening off his gaze in Nagash, which is yeah. D6 damage, but that can be a one as much as it can be a six. Oh. Um, Monstrous Takeover would have him here. I mean, really what I wanted to do was injure myself and come over here. If yeah. I do that with a stack of bolts, these guys are done. Yeah. Um, he's in trouble with the melee attacks. I've got yeah. this objective, and You're I can still get spell portal off, yeah. and I'm ready to just do it again with just no loss. So I would say, hopefully, that's all my bad luck. All in one go, yeah. really. That's the worst. I think that's pretty much the worst I can do with the hero phase. Yeah. Apart from debuffing this guy twice, so I'm kind of happy. Mm -hmm. So that's all my movement. And then these guys can do it on camera if you like. Can yeah. Do Fail a three, it's charged. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to start playing snakes and ladders. It's a six. Six so inches. Then. And yeah. Let's have a little okay. bit of a poke at him before they go down. Yeah. And that's all really. That's all I can do just to try and keep him in place. All right, so we've got monstrous um, abilities, monster abilities, monstrous rampage yep. to do. Um, I am going to have another pop at your shrine yep. on a three up. <laughs> it's a three. It is dust. Sad, sad, okay. sad. Well, you've got punishment and lethargy. Yes. So kind of cool. Yeah. Um, I'm going to use a command ability I've not used before, the Kavalos Death Rider. It's called mm. Kavalos, uh, sorry, Death Rider Wedge. It's yeah. basically when I charge, pick an enemy unit within one inches, uh, roll a number of dice equals the models in that unit, and on five plus you suffer a mortal wound. Cool. So, yeah, kind of. I think it used but, to be better. Yeah. Is that a, or is that a rud up? Yes. Yeah, I've got too many to use, I think, with nothing else cool. going on. Yeah, yeah. On a five, sorry, roll it in the dice tray. Yeah. Five plus, you get a mortal wound. Oh, so nice. Two, two, technically. Now I, yeah, I Unless think I do shrug mortal wounds. I can't remember what they're on. I think it's a four. And I think on a six, does it go back? Uh, oh, same as Nagash. Yeah. Mirrored yeah, so how many was it? Two. Two, right, so two saves. I have more cars, so we save one, take one. Okay, so he's taken a wound. Cool. I'll get a thing in a minute. We'll just put this here for now. And then for the attacks then, if I start off, so they've got three attacks each with these swords. Right, as he's being targeted for attack, I'm going to use all-out defense to give him plus one to save. Mm-hmm. Okay. Ah, okay, yeah, but you're re-rolling sixes to save as well, so my yeah. thing. Uh -huh. in. Oh, yeah, well done. Ah, yeah. Sorry. So these are threes to hit, re-rolling <laughs> ones because of negations yep. of that. And then sixes become extra hits because they're Naderite weapons. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Nice. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. And then to wind it's a four plus, mm -hmm. so it goes down to being a slightly worse. Yeah. So this is minus one rends. Right, so. One damage, obviously. It's a three up save, re rolling sixes. So yeah, it's a three up, goes to a two up because of all out defense. And then back to a three. Have to roll, roll one six. So we take three. Just re re roll a six. Yep. Yeah. So that's it, yeah, we take three so far. Okay, cool. And then yep. uh, with the hooves, I've got another yep. ten attacks. Nice. Uh, fours and threes. Re rolling ones. Nice. Oh, there's another one there. Sorry. Yep. Ah, oh, I don't know what that was. I don't know if it's a hit or not. I don't know. Just leave it as is. Is that okay? Yeah, it's fine. I'll get a comment on it. <laughs> Threes. So that's three at no rend one. Okay, so two up save. And I was going to say, it's always, always, the always, always, always one, yeah. It's always the horses. So he's taken okay. five. Well, right. That's kind of cool for some horses to see what okay. happens to them now. You're right to take that. Right, so what I will do is I will pile in this way just to get closer mm -hmm. to the um, blood secretor. Yep. 
Then we've got, so now we've got five attacks for Slayer of Kings. Hitting on twos, wounding on threes. Am I re-rolling any of this? Uh, is it the hits? Game vitality. Hit rolls are six. Okay. Which is pretty knobby for Slayer of Kings. Yeah. Cool. All right. Wounding on threes, re-rolling all. <laughs> if there were a hero, he would have been dead all over. Um, so minus two round three damage apiece. Okay, so four up, so he goes to five up, so I'm ignoring yeah. them. Not that that's going to help much. Three, six, nine. So that's nine damage. So, yeah. Oops. How many wounds do they have apiece? Uh, three each. That's so fit. a load of deathless, so you just uh, make, yeah. to make any one. Yeah. Is there one? That one's cocked, I don't know. Uh, it's a two, I think, uh, all right. realistically. Okay, so, you t so should we mark eight for now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you might as well. Then we've got three attacks with monstrous claws because of the blood secretor. So hitting on twos, we rolling sixes. Ha -ha. Nah. Wounding on threes, but we rolling. All right, that is minus two damage, D6. Okay, four up goes to five up. Sorry, minus two damage, minus two rend, yeah. D6 damage. Yeah, both go three. Oh, four. Okay, four deathless. One more. That's another three. That's 11. Yeah, they got 15 total. Okay, so then we got two D6 plus one attacks for lashing tails. Seven, so that's eight, two, four. They're on 11 at the minute, aren't they? Yeah, I want one guy left with one wound. That's all that's, <laughs> yeah. that's going to happen. That's, that's all I want. Uh, do I reroll sixes? To hit, yeah. Yeah, they, that's, all I, that's all that I've hit. Because these actually hit on... No, they hit and missed nothing. They hit nothing. Then we've got Dorgar. Seven attacks. Two, four, seven. Threes and threes. Reroll because we're still whipped to fury. Okay, three. Uh, minus one rend. Okay, so no, four up saves. So that's four damage. Okay, four deathless. Oh, hang on, I forgot it's seven attacks. We'll do that one in a minute. So it's three. So it's three. Uh, that's 14. It's 11, 14, so have got one wound left. It's been an awful first turn. I should be really unhappy, but actually, <laughs> for the stuff that did work, yep. can't complain. Right, so he's got one wound left, is that right? Yeah, it's plenty. Yeah, that's it. So, you got uh, zero points? Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's all you can do. There's, there's yeah. no way I'm going to jump onto the middle objective to try and, to try and get a battle tactic. Yeah. Um, so that's going to hurt me the whole game, really. Cool. The way, you know, well, we'll see. Catch up, but hey. Right, so should we go to the priority role? Yeah, I, need, I deserve this. Okay. I think. Right. It's a six. It's a six, and I break ties because I went first. Oh, come on. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so I am going to take it. Yeah. It's not a double turn, but, <laughs> but it's annoying for I Ross. I my first turn. Yeah. <laughs> right, let's go to quad turn two. Okay. Hero phase happened, um, a few good things, a few bad things. We picked my battle tactic, um, Broken Ranks. So basically it was to kill one of uh, Ross's battle line. Instantly, pretty much, Dorgar used his Nurgle head to spit noxious bile at him, so we had to roll a three, and we did get a three and caused one mortal wound. This slaughter priest tried, the irony, he tried to heal <laughs> Archeon by doing the prayer and rolled a one, not just once, but twice. So not only did he not heal him, he took a mortal wound. <laughs> um, and then the other slaughter priest, Mikey, managed to cast uh, the Hex Gorgeous Skulls, but they're still well out of, of range. I'd like too much of a glut here to, uh, to put them anywhere useful. Um, Archeon healed himself one wound, and I think Nagash healed himself one wound. Yes. So Nagash is up to full, and Archeon has taken four, which is still a lot, but he's back in the top bracket now. 
So we are gonna go into movement next. So. Okie dokie, right movement phase. Everything's really shimmied forward. Um, these guys ran, so they're not gonna be charging, but they're just hopefully there to t help take an objective. Um, these guys came forward a bit, nothing's happened here, but the Bloodstoker whipped them to fury just because. These guys moved over and we've got a very big charge here uh, to do. But we have got shooting to do first. There is it, so he is out of range of his good <laughs> weapon, but he's got the 12 inch shot. Um, oh yeah, it's an 11 inch charge, isn't it? Yeah, and it's an 11 inch charge, yeah. 12 inch weapon. So, one attack, but he can re-roll against them heroes. He can re-roll hits that target a hero or monster. It's a six. It's a five, but it needed to be a three. So it's a minus one rend. Okay, so three up save. Rerolling ones. Ah, it's six. a six. Kill. Cool. Okay. Right, so we have got a charge here to make. Mm -hmm. Nope. Four. <laughs> That's fine, we'll keep that there. Now this one here is important. He's only three inches away, but because of your... Punishment of the lethargy. Yeah, he gets um, only one dice. All right, we're going to re-roll that. Six. Yep, so, whew. We're not going to do any monstrous things, and I don't think we can, can we? Because you've got... Hunters in the Heartlands, so yep. they can't roar at me. Yep. Okay. That means you, I think you can stomp still, but you can't... No, it's still a monstrous rampage. Oh, is it? Okay, yeah. sorry. I'm too new to it. I, I yeah. got it because I don't like being roared at, so I can't shield walk. So that was a... Uh, down to two. Right. Um, I think that's it. Beginning of combat. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to use my Reapers of Vengeance ability to fight twice, leave none alive. Okay. I'm going to shield wall on the Mortec to try and be annoying. Mm -hmm. They inevitably go down. Kill. Um, right. So, end of combat was very disappointing. Um, Archeon killed how many? Nine? Nine. Nine of your guys, despite attacking twice. So there was a lot of re-rolling sixes. And oh, then it was so annoying. It, it was so annoying. And then when these guys attacked back with 22 attacks, um, I had to re-roll my sixes of save. So he took 11 hits, yeah, I think. Yeah, I didn't find it. It's the best part of my game yeah. so far. I enjoyed that. But it does mean he is, oh, he's taken 15 wounds. So he is hurting a bit. Hurting a lot, actually. But hopefully he's done enough. You don't take battle shock, do you? I don't need to, man. Yeah, Hardy. so, but I have taken your objective off you now. Yeah. Yeah, so we have got this objective because we've got 10 here, plus 5 for the monster. That's 15 versus 11. So we scored the battle tactic earlier, didn't we? The, mm -hmm. um, and because it was done with a monster, that's why we went for the, um, the, uh, the Nurgle head. So that's an extra point. So that's 3 nice. for, for the battle tactic because it was with a monster. And then we've got these now for 2 turns. That's four, yeah. I've got two, at least two for two turns, five, and then more than you is six. So it goes up to nine, but... Is that nine to zero? I've got anything yeah. Right. But Archeon is hurting a lot as we go into Ossiarch Bone Reaper's turn two. It's my turn one, man. So <laughs> yeah. Turn one. turn one, this is it. Yep, lovely, cool. <laughs> Right, hero phase. I didn't miscast anything. You know, I used an auto unbind on my protection of Nagash, though, which sucked. So. No, it was um, who I did. No, yeah. it was on the spell portal. The on um, the spell portal. Yeah. Oh, that's right, we redid it. We yeah. redid it. Uh, so, Nagash has got his um, protection of Nagash on. He's got mm. a mystic shield. He's used 
uh, Supreme Lord of the Undead Legions with one Relentless Discipline point. He's also gone for Perfect Sunday. Yeah, and he's got Naderite weapons on those guys. Yeah, he empowered these guys in Naderite weapons, and he's got three Arcane Bolts off. You mm. dispelled one of them. Yeah. Uh, that's all I can do. Yep, and uh, Archeon healed one wound again. It's, just, it's not his day. But he used By My Will, so if he dies this turn, he gets to uh, fight and attack before he gets to pile in and attack before he goes down. Cool. All right, movement. Yep. Uh, did you pick your battle tactic? Ah. Oh. No. Yep. No, I didn't. Uh, yes, I did. It was to. Bring it down. Was it kill the monster? Bring it down because it's all yep. five wounds. Again, yeah. I, don't, I don't, kind of don't have much choice. It might go wrong, yeah. but it's. It's what's happening. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll see what the dice do. All right, movement. Here we go. Right, it's the end of movement. The only thing that's really moved is um, Nagash. Yeah, he just moved. He nine just moved across there. Here. I was going to use Unstoppable Advance to get him further in, but we just reasoned you can't do that because mm. it's under three, which I know, and I just was uh, being confused. So it's three away here, three yeah. away here. So that's a normal move. So you can shoot and charge. Yep. Um, actually, if I move these guys. Yep. I'm going to. I was going to nudge him forward four. I'm okay. Ah. <laughs> Do I? See, what you don't know is I have you exactly where I want you. <laughs> and I... <laughs> <laughs> Don't film me while I'm doing vacant. <laughs> we'll, be right, we'll be right back after these words. <laughs> How long will I be vacant for? <laughs> nothing, nothing really happened after the vacant expression. Yeah, now here's how <laughs> I move these guys slightly forward. I, I feel like if my plans that were going ahead now did work, yeah. that now I'm moving on to mop up, which yeah. is really cocky, but it's just, again, how you play with this kind of scenario. Now, yeah. So I feel like these guys should have gone forward, ready to charge in on take mm. out stuff next turn however they're really solid on an objective and at the moment they're totally unsupported um and you've got your heroes there and blood boils are plenty mm. and stuff so i've just literally just went uh, and moved them slightly yep uh, so they're useless they're on an objective and they're holding really well um but hopefully it's a bit of work for both of your units to get across there now mm -hmm. to actually charge in um the gash moved over here i'm working on a basis of something i think i've heard in a lot of battle reports yeah we're in power struggle I did I did hold this uh, point at the end of turn one. You then took it off me because I did poorly. Yeah. I deserve for it to be taken. <laughs> uh, but now at the end of turn two, if I take it, I have held it for two consecutive turns. Yeah. I had it at the end of turn one. I had it at the end of turn two. If I'm wrong, I apologise. Mention it in comments. Um, yeah, it's, it is weird. On it, it is weirdly worded. So we rolled a dice for it, you know, 50-50. It's, do you need to hold it for two is the wording two consecutive turns? Yeah. Do you need to hold it for the whole of two turns or just at the very end? Personally, I feel like I lost it and I would need to hold it back, uh, mm. get it back again yeah. before then scoring in two turns' time. But uh, I believe I've seen battle okay, yeah. where so, they said yeah. they've got it. So I, uh, I stacked it in my favour and said, if we roll a one to three, it's my way. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't roll a one, though. <laughs> that's, that's my understanding. That's my yeah. belief. I really apologise yeah. if I'm wrong. Cool. Um, but I'm going to hear try and kill Archeon. Cool. Yeah. So I've got, to, I've got one bit of shooting to do in Nagash yeah. with a dice, hopefully. Mm -hmm. So he's got one attack with the gaze of Nagash within 12 yeah. inches. Yeah. It's a three plus to hit, re-rolling ones. It's a two plus to wound. And it's minus one rend and then d6 damage. Oh, it could it's kill him. Bad, not a bad shot. Could kill him. Yeah, it won't kill him. No, it's okay. a six up save, yeah. Fine, uh, then I guess we go into charges mm -hmm. with Nagash. It's a four. four. He's not going to make it. But I can get to within three inches of you. you. You have to make it within half an inch to complete the charge. Maybe I can't re-roll, re -roll. but I can charge into them. Ah, yes, shoot. yeah, 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 that's, yeah, yeah, that's absolutely. Play. Clever. 
So yeah, he's made a charge. So now I'm going to do a monstrous rampage onto Archeon. Uh huh. So on a three plus, you take do three more falls. Yeah. Two. Two, two. Um, uh, wait, wait, I get a go. No, 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 no. I get a go. I am going to do. Yeah, I'm going to do the same. Okay, six, D3 mortals, three. Okay, and on four pluses, I can shrug the mortals, and on a six, it reflects back. Two sixes, ah. and a three. So I take one, mm. which I'm perfectly happy to take yeah. at this stage. And I ping two back. Are you going to ping them back? Oh, yeah, I'm going to, so I shrug them up on a four. No, I don't, I take two. <laughs> <laughs> then I've got three arcane bolts. Yep. Down to 16. <clears throat> I've got four wins left, basically. Let's do it that way. So with these bolts, they do D3 damage. Okay. Because I'm within three. Oh, I will fall to the wind. That's three, six, seven, eight. Right, so he has got, I think it's called the armor of something, where he can ignore, let me check. You don't know yeah. its exact, uh, exact name. You can't use it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the armor of Ganache. Oh uh, yeah, the ever chosen. Each time it's affected by a spell or endless spell, you can roll a dice on a four plus. Ignore the effects of that spell. So. Do you want me to have the count? Yeah. So what was your rolls? Uh, eight. Um, All right. So we we'll do. Should we do a three, three, and a two? This is to ignore the first three. Okay. On a four up. Nope. Second. Yep, on the two. Yep, so we take three mortal wounds, and I can reflect these back now on a four. Okay. No! So he takes two. That's not bad from eight. So he's got two wounds left. Okay. Okay. Um, I guess for combat, I'm going to trust the Mortec. To go in, because mm -hmm. they've got the um, empowered netherite weapon, so yeah. on five they're actually doing extra. Right, okay. So that is eleven guys. Right, and <laughs> end of combat. It was very boring, but Ross actually dealt exactly two damage to Arkham, which was super yeah, annoying for me. A lot. I saved a lot, lot, yeah, and he got two damage through, which killed him. So then when he piled back in because of by my will, he almost slammed <laughs> King Nagash. He got one six on the wound, but Nagash then teleported. Yeah, and, uh, that was annoying though because he was perfect Sundays and there was more to do here. So yeah. actually sometimes that's a bit of a curse having the protection. I mean, yeah, it was great that you didn't whack him loads. Yeah, I think up. he took three. Did he take three? He's on three, yeah, but he can heal for your turn anyway. Right, yeah. So, oh. um, yeah, kind of annoying that he's moved off. And again, it's slightly bad luck but that's what you do with him so yeah what can you do but what you have you taken do? out half my army almost but you you got your thingy yes i did yeah Get i did him. this time I, sl I slew a monster but uh i think alcan before he went out took what five or six guys out yep so i don't have this point anyway yeah. so the idea is moot yeah. Yeah. So bad but you times, bad times so right you now. get your two bat two for your battle tactic yeah oh. There you go. But you are in a juicy position as we we'll go. See, we'll see. As we go into the roll off for turn three. Yeah. It's a four. four. No. It's a two. So I'm going to take it. Cool. It's my turn two. Yep. <laughs> we didn't have turn one. <laughs> yeah. Watch. All right. All right. Here we go. As we go to Ossiarch turn three. It's two. Turn three. Yep, okay. <laughs> right, Roscoe, what's happened? Uh, Nagash did loads of stuff over there. He so did, he yeah. Cast, he used a Relentless Discipline point on uh, Supreme Lord of the Undead Legions, mm -hmm. as you always do. He cast a Mystic Shield on himself. He cast Protection of Nagash on himself. He charged up with a load of bolts, and I almost forgot to use the Burning Head on him as well. Yep. The burning head went next to him, it did three mortal wounds as part yeah. of his D3. 
I only rolled to negate two of them, so I definitely took one, mm. uh, and I only negated one of those. So he's back. He's got two wounds taken off again. Mm -hmm. He teleported to here. Um, it's quite a long way away from these guys, who I said I was going to try and kill as my battle tactic. Yeah. Um, but it's nine away from them, and they're fair. I almost put them there, but actually thinking about it, these guys aren't in the battle at the moment. Mm. Their, their, their turns not going to really do that much. So I'm, this is who I'm facing. So yep. hopefully I'm here doing this. These guys can move in. And yep. like I said last go, these guys could have moved in and be ready to mop up. It's not mopping up. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, I'm so on the back foot. I yeah. can't say mopping up. But they could have been in a better position. But I didn't know. Yep. All experience. And you brought three guys back here. Yeah, three guys back. And we recast three of them from the turn before because it was a free move that would yeah. have happened and it hasn't changed the flow of the game no you would have still had that yeah. uh, objective so. because i was cursed the first <laughs> go, I think. so let's see if so. i can change it around now. all right here we go shoosting uh movement moving <laughs> moving moving first moving right and this might be tricky so <laughs> Right, so movement's finished. Uh, Nagash crept forward to do a three inch charge, and I think you used a discipline point to give them seven inch move. Yes. To set them up for a short charge as yep. well. That's exactly what I said last turn they should have done, and I should have been cocky and gone forward, but um, the way things were going, he's not cocky no. at all. So um, got... I'm going to shoot with Nagash, the gaze of Nagash into these guys. Mm -hmm. So it is a three plus to hit, re rolling ones. Nice. Hits. Uh, two plus to wound. It's a two. No, no, no. It's fine. It's a two. So it's minus one rend and then D6 damage. Uh, they got a six up save, so D6 damage. Okay. Not a one. I can't see it. It's, it's a, a one. It's a one. <laughs> well, that's the first. Let's make your charge a bit harder here. And let's lose a magnet as well. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right, okay, let's shoot in. Um, so charges, everyone's yeah. charging actually. Yep. So if I go for these guys first, so yep. they get plus one because they've got a Necrophorus. So actually they're in anyway, aren't they? Yep. So I don't know how I rolled it, but it's nice to succeed at a roll. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nagash. Comfortably, comfortably in. Go in there. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Just asking the questions, making sure I've got all yeah, the yeah. understanding. These guys are going to charge. I don't know how much they need, but they get plus one. Oh, that's, that's fine. Eight. And eight is fine. Plus nine. Cool. So they can actually. I can definitely tell my luck's in because I can hear it's raining. Yeah. So the heat, heat wave is going to end or get way worse. <laughs> yeah. Way worse, probably. Right, now I've landed, mm -hmm. I'm going to do a monstrous rampage yep. on these guys, Yep. first off. Okay. So on a 3+, plus, they take D3 mortals. Yep. They do. And it's one. There's one more. Kapow. Kablooey. Eight more of these. Yeah. You're going downtown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, next up. I'm going to use my... So you've got nothing to do, have you? Like no, 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 because I have a Miley stuff. Monster is here and he can't do anything. I'm going to use my four <laughs> he might just, he might, he might kick. <laughs> he might just kick this rock. I'm going to use my four arcane bolts on yep. these guys now I'm in. So that's four yep. lots of D3. Mm -hmm. Come on, D3s. Three, three, four, five, six, four, seven. Five, six, seven. Yeah. Well, we may as well take... Stand, yeah, let's take all of these out and leave this one here. It might try and jab you, jab you back. Well, that's done a lot of your combat for you. Maybe. <laughs> People in the comments will be like, oh, he shouldn't have done that, he shouldn't have piled in. I'm hoping, yeah. he's got a couple of weapons that are three inch and two inch attacks, okay. so I'm hoping I can get the blood, the, the priest behind. Mm -hmm. Magor's Fiends, yep. I don't know if that's sensible or not, who knows. So should we go to 
combat. Yep. I'm first off going to go with these guys. Yep. Actually. Sure. So I've got 12 more tech. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. <laughs> right, so at the end of combat, a lot of my stuff died and hardly anything as Rossi's died, unsurprisingly. Finally. Finally. So what happened is uh, the Blood Reavers, as you saw, got wiped out. <laughs> Okay, that's really brave. <laughs> the blood stoker got killed. I think he took out one or two of your guys before he went. Uh, yeah, a couple went from there. Yeah, I think one guy or two guys went from there. Yeah. My slaughter, one slaughter priest died. That was with the sword from Nagash. The yeah. staff whiffed and didn't um, wound as usual. Yeah, and I think w one of them chipped away or something. The last one of your battle line was killed with the spirit's uh, claw. Uh, two sixes to hit. Yeah. And ridiculously, when Nagash gets into combat, I, I miss his main like three and two damage weapons. I look forward to the spirits because yeah. I always clean up. I yeah. always get rid of someone. It's ridiculous. That's <laughs> so the first attack I do. It's all good. But right. yeah, so I did my uh, battle tactic. I was going to go for aggressive expansion. <laughs> Don't be such a cocky idiot. But I managed it, but hey, you live so, and learn, you get the crunch of the numbers. Right, so you have... Three objectives. Uh, you've got three objectives, but you've only held this one for two turns. Yeah. But you hold more than I do now. Yeah. So that is one point, and then you scored your tactic. My battle tactic. So, okay. Two. so you go up to five. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if this is going to stack up enough, but um, oh, also we got battle shock here. But I'm going to spend a command point um, to give him black knight syndrome. <laughs> so he, <laughs> <laughs> what's that? That was from Monty Python. The guy. It's like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Come on, I'm going to bite you. And do this all. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. So he's just going to sit there to, you know, piss you off, really. Fair dues. Um, and I've got my point back. I'm yeah, off. yeah, yeah. Good. That's it. Well, we have got um, la, 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 corn town three now. Oh, catch you in a bit. Righty, so hero phase is done, and it's uh, I think it's all coming up, Ross. So he's picked my perfect Sunday, um, his finest hour. The tactic we've got is bring it down. We're going for a Nagash attack. I don't know why, <laughs> but we are. Um, he tried to do his spell, uh, Flaming Swords, which he had to reroll because of the Blood Secretor, but then he got anyway, but Nagash safely unbound it. And then he failed his Blood Boil prayer. So that's the end of the hero phase. Let's go into the movement phase. <laughs> Catapults, and you yeah. used all your RDP on the catapults mm. to give them extras. Anyway, your turn. Okay, right. Um, weirdly enough, I have abandoned my plan of taking out Nagash. Stuff has um, come back, so, uh, retreated. So I've taken my uh, Bloodthirster into. We're going to try. We're going to go for a smart move and try and take back this objective to keep Ross off it. And I've also run these guys up using a command point to give them six to get onto that objective. Basically, it's to stop Ross holding it for two turns. Um, so, <sighs> trying to play the smart game. I don't know if it's going to work. But we've got a bit of shooting before we go into charges. Uh, so, we have got the Bloodthirster here, Gary. <laughs> Right, uh, Hellfire Breath, one attack, and it's basically on a 2+, plus. you suffer D3 mortal wounds, Ooh. D3 mortal wounds, two mortal wounds, you get your yeah, double yeah, deathless. Two deathless, yep, that's, nope, two. that's two, out. then we've got Blood Flail, Missile, one attack, threes and threes, no, nope, that never hits, <laughs> uh, alright, so we may as well go into charges, uh, Bloodthirster, four. We know he's three inches away. That's all fine. And then we may as well put a 
rip tooth in. Rippy, rippy, rip tooth. Eight. Right, and that is it for combat. Actually, what I forgot to do, I forgot to retreat these. Can I, do you mind if I pull okay. these? Uh, I'm going to shield wall uh, yep. these more tech with my last RDP. Mm -hmm. All right, so they are, we've got a monster thing to do, but they're invulnerable to the monster yep. thing, aren't they? So we may, as well oh, just, oh. we may as well go straight into combat. Yep. All right. Um, Gary's going first. He is going to use his uh, all-out attack. To give him plus one to hit. Mm -hmm. So seven attacks, and it's twos and twos. Re rolling ones because he is a greater demon. We don't want to see any ones here. No, cool. Seven at minus two rend. Okay, so it goes to minus one rend for being a petrified. Yeah, so you got re-rolling Five. fives. Uh, re-rolling. Yeah. Nice. So four at D3 damage. Uh-huh. Two, four, six, seven. Okay, seven deathless. Mm -hmm. Uh six die. Yep, and um, back to you. Um, I will I was gonna to have to pile in around this guy, I think. Mm. Realistically, sorry, not if he's got the camera yep. on it. These guys yep. pretty much just did that. Yep. Um so it's six dice then need, please. There you go. And that is threes to hit. Nice. Um re rolling ones because of Nick Yash's buff. There you go, and six is turned into additional hits. Thank you. And then fours to wound. And there's a minus one rend, one damage. Right, and it kills that guy, blood tithe. Well, exactly, that's why I was going to pile around into rip teeth mm -hmm. just to have a go and be annoying, but mm -hmm. uh, there's no choice. They're, I'm there already. All right, so rippy tooth, five attacks, threes and fours. We roll ones. No. Mm. Uh, one. Re rolling. Yep. Death verse. Whee. Cool. All right. That's okay. combat, huh? That's combat. So, uh, Objectives we've got is we've got this one, which we've held for two turns. This one and this one, but we haven't held them for two turns. So that is just one for having more than you. Okay. And none yeah. for, and we failed the battle tactic, didn't we? Oh, it hurts. Yeah. I guess at least it's one apiece, though. Yeah. So what it's are we on now, buddy? 10 versus 5. Oh. Lagging. Yeah, as oh, we go, oh, that was yeah. turn three. As we go into the roll off for turn four. All right. Can you see? Nice. Six. Two. I'm going to take the turn. Yeah, sounds good. Cool. Let's do something. I'm still reeling for my first turn. Yeah, go for it. Let's do stuff. Right. See what intelligent stuff I do. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Right, hero phase done. It was a bit swingy, that one, wasn't it? It was rubbish. Yeah. Ross cast again. But, so what happened was, I think Ross cast a few spells. Oh, well, I went for Umbral Spell... Umbral, Umbral spell, spell Portal. ...to try and Hand of Dust here before I went yeah. again. And I used my five Blood Tithe to auto-unbind, which was a bit expensive, but worth it. Yeah, because that yeah. would just be 50 fit. Well, yeah. um, Hand of Dust is a casting value eight, so yeah. it's not a given, even with plus threes. Um, so I started stacking up. I've got, done Supreme Lord of the Undead Legions. Yeah. I've done Mystic Shields. 
Um, then I started stacking up arcane bolts, but I'm having to re-roll all of them because of this guy. And the minus one here, and, and, minus and we've one. got plus two casting uh, dispel in here. So I've got one on me because I miscast again twice in one So uh, what happened was he, um, this bloodthirster unbound one of them on a natural eight, and I think he did four mortal wounds. Yeah, and I yeah I've taken three. I shrugged yeah. some. I, it yeah. kind of doesn't matter for Nagash, to be honest. And then and then he got a two and a one to roll to get Mystic Shield. Yeah. Which even with the minus one went off on a five. Yeah. And I thought, oh, that's annoying. He's going to have to re-roll because of the blood secretor. And then that's when he miscast. <laughs> twice. Yeah. So he, he did a t rolled a two and a one, and then a one and a one. So, so that's going to be harsh for. Um, Try yeah. to take the bloodthirster out now. Exactly. I because him. So yeah. I had a hand of dust gambit, then I had a stacking up loads of arcane mm. bolts gambit. Um, it's not been my one for magic, but whatever. And you're actually your um, tactic is slay the warlord. Yeah, slay so the it warlord. Is, so it is that one. So massively ambitious, but mm. I'm so far behind that I have to like kill a monster with a monster. Mm. It's it's kind of like the play to do. So mm. uh, you just got to do it. Yeah. So yeah. Oh, okay. speaking of which, you did kill a monster, you killed Arkham, so you're actually on six points. Cool. Still behind, but I appreciate yeah. that. Yeah, uh, we'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. it's, it's all ambitious. It's all not what really how I'm used to playing. Yeah. Uh, let's see what I can do. All right, movement. <laughs> All right, so movement was very quick. <laughs> yeah, I reasoned that with these guys, um, they need to hold this for two turns. So actually mm. whizzing off and fighting them doesn't, doesn't cut it. So they've gone just four inches forward to mm -hmm. hopefully do something yeah. over here. Uh, Nagash just moved nine. I didn't un um, relentless advance him or anything. So he's got about a five, six inch charge to mm -hmm. make if that's what's happening. Yeah. See if the dice are kind to me. All right. Um, he's going to shoot first though. Yep. So he has his one attack with the gaze of Nagash. Yeah. Uh, it's a 12 inch uh, yep. range. Obviously, I'm doing it on your general. Mm -hmm. So it's a three to hit, re rolling ones. Two to wound. Oh. Minus one rend and d6 damage. Okay. Uh, I've got enough command points. I'm going to give him. Can I use all out defense? Yeah, I can use it in the shooting phase, can't I? Now what I will do, before I movement, sorry, we forget we're filming, I'm going to redeploy him. Okay. Um, so. God, yeah, I always forget about that. Yeah, we forgot that. So, we're actually, because we finished the movement, we're going to redeploy the Bloodthirster. Yeah. Oh, wattage. I'll still probably fail the charge yeah. in my, uh, my lap. Right, okay. Um, so, yeah, we are going to give him all out defense. Four up save. Yeah. Two. Oh dear. Okay. Two six damage. Yeah. Five. Five. That's heavy. What, okay. um, how many wounds have you got? Fourteen. Fourteen, so it's mm. taken five. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I guess we're going to charges now. And yeah. See. I have to put in make. I had to make a six inch charge with the gash. Oh my god. Because <laughs> it's on the bar, it's high. Yeah. Ten. Way. Good. Okay, I will come around here and get in. Base to base ish, but obviously our bases are stupid. These guys are going to try and. Should they charge in? If they're done, that's going to give you blood ties. Yeah. No. Okay. They've got the point. Yeah. There's no need. Cool. So yeah, sure. go for it. All right. So I will try and do the stomp on your general. Mm -hmm. I'm Which one? The mortal wound one? Yeah. Yeah. Because I can't stop you using anything else, can I? Is it? With raw. You've used everything you're going to use, like all that defense and stuff mm. anyway, haven't you? Yeah. Three plus mortals. Two, Two. shockingly. All right. You're going to roar at me. What shall I do? <clears throat> no, hang on. Roar is a... Roar is on a... T uh, stomp is on a 2+. plus. I've always had it as 3. 
Really? Sorry, okay. Raw's on a three. Stomp is on a... I know that it's not a monster, so you couldn't pick him anyway. Oh, so I can't do anything, any no. crash damage? No, you could do Raw, which you would have failed. <laughs> I thought you could stomp anything. No, pick one enemy unit of this oh, model. Ah, well, oh, you could well, you could stop that one. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, f I failed my roll anyway, but. No, it's on a two. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, so. If you're desperate, I'll stomp <laughs> on him. I'll it's, stomp on yeah. him. Yeah. D three. Three. Okay. <laughs> so I think I think Sorry, I think Rip Tooth is yeah I think Rip Tooth is dead. I've always done that on a three plus for D three. Yeah, he's only got two wounds, so. He's out of there. Get a blood tithe again. Um, I am going to use the thing <laughs> raw. Mm -hmm. Okay, on a three plus five. Okay, see. So. Okay, so I'm not using blood gin. Yeah. Uh, okay, so I'm going to attack with Nagash. Okay. This is what you do. Yep. Uh, so I'm going to start off with my worst attack first. Yep. My spectral claws and daggers. So these are mortals on a five. I'm oh, gonna, sorry, on a six. I'm going to give him. Uh, Plus one to save before we go. Yeah. So yep. these are fives to hit. Rerolling ones. Uh -huh. And a six. That's cocked though. So I don't know if you want me to reroll that or not. Is a mortal. No, it's a six. Okay. Yeah. So it's one mortal. Uh, two, four pluses to wounds, which they both do. Yeah. Uh, so no rend and one damage on two saves. Okay. So we save two and take one mortal. Okay. Uh, next up, we'll go with his staff that I always miss with, Anakin Ash. That's yeah. one attack. Three plus to hit, we're rolling ones. Yeah. Two plus to wound. Oh, oh. that's not where I fail. This is minus three red with d6 damage. Ah, oh, six up save. No. It's one. It's always rubbish. And then he's got his sword, which is quite good. So this is six attacks. Yeah. Uh, threes to hit, re rolling ones. Come on. Luckily. Uh, and then we've got uh, threes to wounds. Oh dear. Mm -hmm. uh, minus two ren, three damage. Okay, five up save. Nope. Uh, so that's six damage. Yep. Okay. So it's still alive. Yep. Shocking, 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 shocking. And these guys are... Outside three. So right. I can't do the tactic. Right, so. Oh, we've got a bolt to let off. Oh, yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. I do that for D3 damage. Yep. One. One. So it does kill him. Oh, does it? Uh, I think he's got 14 wins. Yeah. Yeah, he's got 14 wins. Oh, so really? Yeah, 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 oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry to forget that, man. Yeah, yeah, no, it's cool. It's well done. <sighs> <laughs> my heart's going. <laughs> Bloody edging like one out of D6 damage attacks. And yeah. Just little by little, everything's screwing up. Cool. <sighs> right. He's, uh, he's not he's not fun in combat, Nagash. He keeps your heart fluttering. Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess that's combat done then. Yep. So you, by the skin of your teeth, yeah, get the that tactic. Was, uh, yeah. That was not a domination kind of role. Um, so... And it's a monster as well. Yeah. So I've got... I haven't got more than you, but I've no. got two objectives. Yeah, so that counts for nothing at the minute. Yeah. But you did get your... I've got this one for two turns, so I scored that one, don't I? Yes, sorry, yeah, you, yeah, 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 yeah. So you get one, and then you get two for your battle tactic, but you scored it with a monster, is that what it says? With on? a monster, and I killed a monster. That's two, that that's four, up? yeah, so you're up to ten. Nice, nice, nice. Right, let's and that's another blood tie. Right, let's go into corn turn four. Yep. Alrighty, so hero phase was very quick and sour. <laughs> so, uh, general's gone, so we didn't get a command point. But uh, the Blood Secretor did roll for heroic leadership, and because the general's gone, he got it on a two, so we do get a command point. Standard, uh, the Slaughter Priest failed to bring out the skulls on a three, um, even though he got to re-roll. And I think that's it, that's hero phase done. 
So the battle tactic I picked was Savage Spearhead, so I need to get two units wholly within Ross's territory at the end of the turn. So the way to really do that is to, is to auto run these guys here, move these guys here, and then I am going to run these guys back here. And that is probably movement, no shooting, no combat. Um, so I guess we get two points for the battle tactic. I think that's it, isn't it? Two for the battle tactic, one for controlling these two objectives. <coughs> Two for controlling these two objectives for two turns. I don't control more than you, so it's just four. Okay. As we go off for the roll off of turn five. Mm -hmm. Oh, right, five. Five. Four. four. So I think I'll take this and see if I can get ahead enough to. Yep. Uh, all right, this is both so close. There's only <laughs> four points in it. Right. But yeah. also um, the grand strategy. The grand well. strategy, yeah, basically. My, to deny <laughs> Ross's grand strategy, I have to kill Nagash. Yeah. For Ross to deny my grand strategy, he has to kill Kevin. Kevin, <laughs> Kevin. you said it's so sad. <laughs> so, <laughs> right, let's uh, think about what we're going to do. Right, <laughs> these hero phases are be getting sadder and sadder. So we've got an extra command point. Um, he did finally manage to bring out the Hex Gorgeous Skulls to hopefully try and challenge um, Nagash to give it minus two. And we're going to have re-rolling spells as well. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. So my tactic for this turn is to run the Blood Secretor here, try and protect my Priest. And my Priest is going to just leg it back here. He's going to run. Yeah. So I think that's it. That's the gambit for my turn. Uh, we, we did pick uh, aggressive expansion, but it's too late to try and take that one, and there's no point summoning stuff in because I need to hold it for an auto unbind. So I think that's it. So we've got these two objectives. So that's another two points. Um, mm -hmm. Put you on what? Uh, 16. And it's going to come down to grand strategies, probably. Yep. All right. So that's it. That's my turn. that's my game done. It's down to Ross now to try and steal. Let's see what happens. No, all right. Here we go. <laughs> all right. So it came to a very tense final hero thing. So yeah. No, it's just quick rolls. Yep. I do Supreme Lord of the Undead Legions, which you do. Yeah. Um, I do Protection of Engash, uh, which went up, down, was re rolled. So the because we had to re roll with the Blood Secretor, and we did have these out. Yeah. And you tried to unbind it and got a four. So yeah. my roll wasn't much higher. I it was believe. a five. Well, yeah. yeah it, it was, was yeah. Uh, and then I tried to do Burning Head for teleport uh, and didn't get it. Because, yeah, because of the everything. minus two, yeah. And that's the game, unfortunately. Um, yeah. We reasoned that either, um, even if I run these guys, which I've got the RDP to do, mm. onto this objective and take it, mm -hmm. um, that still puts me, is it two points behind? Yeah. So what we did, actually, for the last game, I did, uh, the last round, I did actually get aggressive, ex uh, aggressive expansion. Because we did, well, Andy's read an FAQ where he said if objectives are on the border... Yeah. They are classes, yeah, not wholly within. That. So we did that, that, buffed the two. Um, yeah, it went down to a teleport move. Um, yeah. 
and I've been denied it all game really that's what the mm. third one that's yeah. gone off that's annoying and the only thing I could have done was pop there burst a load of stuff out of the priest whether I got into combat or not um, mm. it's just not possible I mean even playing devil's advocate if I moved nine inches plus yeah plus the three for my RDP and ended mm. up there be a 14 inch charge yeah so not possible certainly with OBR not being able to re-roll charges not that we're bitter um, <laughs> yeah that's it I reckon I don't, I don't think it could have played out any different, different, differently I can't blame missing a grand strategy at the start because you missed one I as missed well, one yeah which hurts yeah it sucks but I definitely don't feel like I've had him in for a couple of turns of this which is a shame no so I think if you you would have got your aggr aggressive expansion too wouldn't yeah. you so these two so we could just play it out Yep. To, um, so these guys, I'll probably fail this now. So you can move four, plus three from um, Unstoppable Advance, plus a run of six, so like 13. Oh, sorry. So they'd all be on there. Did you, did you want them in combat at the risk of losing a couple? Nope. So... <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, you would have had three points off that. Yeah. Uh, two from your thingy, from your battle tactic. Yeah. So that's what, that's five. So that would have given you nine. So that would have been 15. Even if you'd killed him, it would have been 18 to make the draw. But 18, that would have knocked your pillars of belief out as well, wouldn't it? No, but I haven't got my, I haven't added my three of pillars of belief oh, yet. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but you, but you wouldn't is what I mean. If yeah, I did yeah, yeah. And cap him, I yeah. would add it for the yeah, yeah, yeah. alive, yeah. and that was what would uh, take it. Yeah. Uh, I can't grumble getting it that close to no. him after the first turn. I mean, really, first turn he should have been over yeah. there, rinse that side of the board, started getting hands of dust yeah. out. Um, Shall we clean up and uh, yeah, definitely. Cap, cap it out? Cool. All right, there we go, guys. That was the end of that. That was an exhausting match. That I think. Was stressful. Yeah. It was stressful. Again, I mean, I don't know if it's just us, but every bat rep we've done has gone into turn five, essentially. Yeah. I know Games Workshop, when they rewrote the rules for, for them, they said most games are won on turn three. And then what they said is you can remove an objective. Yeah. And they gave you all the extra command points. And now most games are won on turn five. So yeah, well, all they've done is delay it. Yeah. But, no, <laughs> but yeah, that was a good game. There was a lots of to and yeah. fro, and we were kind of were still learning, so we we were rewinding a few bits yeah. that, that didn't affect the game that much. Yeah, best I, way to be, I think. I forgot lots of stuff that would have affected the game if we rewound it. I was annoyed, like uh, not attacking twice with the bloodthirster in the corner. Yeah. Use my command point to give him all out attack or something when I could have just attacked twice, <laughs> which yeah. would have been better. But would you yeah. reckon? It was, yeah, I'm grateful to have made it to turn five after yeah. such an abysmal start. I mean, hopefully people watching will feel for me and think, oh, why didn't you do this? Yeah, yeah. I didn't do anything the first turn. And then miscasting twice in the same battle sucks. <laughs> um, but we were saying, you roll so many spells. It's, yeah, it's, yeah, my protection and then damaging myself gambit was denied the whole game. Yeah. And actually, um, well, I said the whole game. Yeah. I got it off a couple of times, but um, three times certainly, which is mm. massive. I'm not used to that. And it all came down to doing that and getting near the priest, which mm. I actually had a whack out with my staff. Yeah. My own fault. I should read people's grand strategies and I should have kept in there and done a better job. Um, but I always screw that D6. <laughs> D6. <stuff. laughs> anyway, it's just nothing to me. I've it's, yeah, spirits. it's the same as my health fire breath. It's one attack, but it does six damage if it hits. Yeah. Threes are threes. It never, never hits. Never, no. So yeah. it all came down to that. Yeah. Um, so we worked it out. Worked out the best way, best thing to do. Yeah. Good game. It was good, good yeah. Good That's yeah. probably the first time I've played Archeon, apart from... Well, we, we, did, we did the Christmas special, which was a weird one, because it was a three-way battle. But this was... I don't know if I was a bit too gung ho with him right at the beginning, but he kind of went in, took out the general, which was nice. Yeah, I was really hoping the general this game could be with Nagash, giving him yeah. the extra attacks by a, a command ability called Endless Duty, and yeah. give someone an extra attack for their stuff. So then, with him in combat with the priest, that would yeah. have been something a bit more special with like the damage, the two attacks with the D6. Yeah, the but then he, he just 
he did get taken out, unfortunately, but that was because he was re-rolling all of his sixes to saves. You were re-rolling ones to hit. There was a lot of stuff going against him. It was crazy. I'm really grateful that I got those two debuffs up against him. Um, did not yeah. expect to be taking him down in yeah, yeah. terms of wounds. I thought yeah. I was going to be hand of dust mm. through, a, through a spell portal or nothing. It's ridiculous to play a game where I've killed a bloodthirster who I hate. <laughs> I used to rinse my old Stormcast horses before I realised they weren't worth bringing. Yeah. Um, and Archeon in the same battle and still be like, oh, yeah, it didn't go that well. It no, did go well. I've it did go well. It was things. very tight at the end. It was only, what, three points in it? Yeah. And it yeah. all hinged on you killing the Slaughter Priest, <laughs> which you yeah. Yeah, kind of legged it to den deny his skull going to somewhere. Yeah, yeah, unfortunately. But hey, grateful to do it. And it was, yeah. it was fun. It was yeah. just down to luck. And actually, it's a good lesson to be denied. Mm. Just pulsing about with Nagash and be like... Pshh, pshh, yeah. Pshh, pshh. No, but, uh, I've done my last two battles. He's just rinsed. Hex Gorgeous Skulls did, only went yeah. off once, right at the end. I mean, they went in the middle of the game, but they, were close, they weren't close enough to do anything. But when they did come out, between them and the Blood Secretor, it caused your Nagash a lot of issues, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was a pain. It was a pain. So yeah. That's, yeah, but yeah, yeah, pa apparently I can't roll threes to save my life. My main things were to not go anywhere near um, Archeon yeah. with Nagash, not to see him in hand-to-hand -hand combat, yeah. which failed, and I was right up there. And to remember, as a priest, and I could get rid of the hex scores. Yeah, so which right at the end, <laughs> you, know, you could do that. It's like, yeah, it could have changed a lot. But you also had an auto and bind. So I did, yeah, I had an auto and bind tucked that away. Hurts yeah, as well, just being able to say no, nope, no nope. stuff like that regularly. Yeah, so today I didn't summon anything. I didn't do any extra attacks. No yeah. extra movement. It was all just kept to auto and bind. Yeah, Nagash's like pivotal spells because there's you've yeah. got about three of them, don't you? The spell portal. Yeah. The teleport the and the hand of dust, but the hand yeah. of dust depend on the other two going off. Yes. So. Yeah, definitely. Hand of dust is a three-inch range, so technically I could have been close enough to mm. do some stuff with it. It's just using the spell portal is good as well. Yeah. But yeah, there's a stormcast knight in Kansas that has like an auto unbind, but it's a once per battle ability. Right, yeah. So even able to do it every turn is yeah. just crazy good. Yeah. Stop killing my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so. Well, yes, yeah, it's my old. My yeah. Old <laughs> yeah. It was, it was actually you at the beginning of the game said, oh, Nagash is a priest. How does he unbind your stuff? Yeah, yeah. And you so, said in the hero phase, yeah. I'm just not used to it. Yeah. I'm just not used to it. So. But Good. Lots of experience. Yeah, well, we're all learning. Yes. The priests are uh, <laughs> far worse than they were. Yeah. I'm not getting my three chances for prayers anymore. Yeah. Um, but Mortec, Archeon was all right. Mortec can take yeah. out Archeon if they're both yeah, in the wind yeah. in the right direction. That was them that did yeah. pretty much all of it, I think. I think... Now that I've had Archeon out, I think I had more fun with, because he's about the cost of two and a half Bloodthirsters. I think getting two or three Bloodthirsters instead, it's a shame we can't take them as battle line. <laughs> like, <laughs> <it's not. laughs> like, like the Terror Geists, I think the, the yeah. Flesh Eater, of course, have got, oh, really? they've got one of their factions where they can take the Terror Geists as, um, or the Zombie Dragons as battle line. Wow. <laughs> That's what we need. They have Bloodthirsters as battle line. I'm happy with Reliable Mortec. My Travelos <laughs> Death Riders are just yeah. wrong and abused as, mm. as usual. They're my, my fast moving guys, but yeah. the second I saw Arca and I thought, let's sacrifice them. Yeah, yeah. And like I said, hopefully I'll have one guy left with one wound at the end just to be a knob. Yeah. I, <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, <laughs> I, I don't know if Arca needs to be in a Slaves to Darkness army. I felt he did okay. Was he worth 850 odd points? The Reapers of Vengeance, where he can attack twice, made it useful. Yeah. But other than that, he didn't hit that hard compared uh, against your stuff, where you ignore rend, you ignore the first point, and re-rolling re saves. saves is back as well. Yeah. yeah, and I don't know. I don't think I did unstoppable advance on all the units and shield wall on, on mm. all the units because people are complaining like, oh, you can only do it on one. Yeah. I had enough. I kind of didn't have much RDP because of only having Small the gash yeah. uh, for most of the battle. Um, so I had a small pool, but I don't think I used shield wall on any more mm. than one unit, so it kind of feels quite balanced, yeah. rather than just like putting blocks forward and doing the same things on everything, mm. so it's something people are complaining about, like you yeah. can't do and they're broken because of it, didn't really affect this battle. Yeah. So, but then it's again the gash list, so I guess it it's non-standard. Yeah, <laughs> it was a but weird yeah, one. I had loads of fun. It but was, it was really, good, really yeah. Good. Thanks guys for watching. Uh, as usual, put anything in the comments below. If anyone knows of that rule that we referenced, the... Yeah. Um, 
Well, yeah, so we've got two, the power struggle, like do you have to control it for the whole of the turn or can you lose it halfway between and regain it at the end? Yeah, I think that's, I think that's right. Which we rolled off for. And then the other one was having an objective on the border of your territory because they don't actually define how big an objective is, do they? They just say it's from the centre. Yeah. So, but um, like I said, there has been an FAQ that I haven't seen, but that Andy's seen, that says if it's on the border, it counts as not wholly within. Yeah, I reckon. Which makes it easy to get those not wholly within because they're essentially in your starting territory, aren't they? Well, that's the thing as well, though, isn't it? Does, it, does that make that easy? So if you're like, standing where you deployed yeah. one turn with monsters yeah. and then another turn running forward, which you're going to do anyway yeah. with monsters... Maybe we're playing so it wrong. Maybe we're making our lives too hard. <laughs> <laughs> But that's it, right? Anything else to add? No, just good game. Yeah, nice that's one. it. Lovely. Nice one, Ross. It was uh, very close. Three points. I think it was the grand strategy that... Well, you missed one too, so... so yeah, no, the, the, not the battle tactic. Oh, sorry. The grand strategy, yeah. Yeah, rats. Well, I had a swing at that guy with the stuff. Yeah. I should yeah. read my list better, shouldn't I? I was focusing on mine, not yours. Yeah. So I should look and see what, what it is. And I'd have honed in on those priests. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. First off, really. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right, guys. Well, uh, thanks for watching. Please leave any comments, like, share and subscribe if you enjoyed this. Watch another video. Helps us out. Um, and if you know of anyone who hasn't found us and you think they'd like us, please send them our way. All right. Catch you guys later. See, See ya. ya.